What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your guy, King's Blood Gaming, and I'm back with another video. So I wanted to do this video because I feel like a lot of people are hyping up this, uh, this PlayStation Paris Games Week show, and they're hyping it more to be more than what it was, and they're hyping certain games that just weren't even on par of what should be coming out for the PS4. And I'm just like, oh my God, you guys gotta stop wood buffing. So I said, you know what? Why don't I just drop the no wood buffing review? Just straight like it is. Fuck all the bullshit. I don't care about whose feelings I hurt. So what? If your feelings are hurt over video games, check yourself into the nearest hospital. That's what you should do. So let me get into this, all right? I ain't here to drop backstory. Let's go. Uh, the first game I checked out was Guacamelee 2. Um, it was a nice little side scroller, you know, with the Mexican luchador wrestlers. This was dope, man. It looked fun. It looked really fun. Like, you can't say that you love Cuphead and you love the art style and you love this and, and, th and that about Cuphead and then act like this game was doo-doo. This game was dope. I liked it. And I didn't like the weird chicken character, but, I mean, it was dope, man. It has four-player co-op. That is great. I like that. I'm definitely probably going to be picking that up. Whenever it drops, I will be picking it up, all right? Uh, the Hong Kong Massacre, it was a top-down shooter, uh, I, I thought I saw a slight destruction in it, I'm not sure, but, um, it kind of reminded me, like, of Max Payne type of game, but from top-down, but, uh, it's not really for me, you know, I, I don't know, it, it, it could, it could be nice, I don't know, but, uh, it's just not for me, I'm not into top-down games, I hate them, you know what I'm saying, like, what's the last top-down game I played anyway? Eh, who knows? Not for me, man. Not for me. But it might be for some of you people. I see a lot of you guys playing them little indie games, and this might be right up your alley. Uh, the Gardens Between. I like the colorful art style. I like the uh, the time-controlling mechanics. This game could be a sleeper, especially for a little indie game. Check that out. Loco Roco. Oh, man. My man. This looked like something a four-year-old played on a tablet. Man, come on, man. Stop this. If you... If you agree that, yeah, it wasn't, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't, don't act like this was cool and this, no, it wasn't, you know, and that chick had the nerve to be excited about this game and it being in 4K, like, what? Come on, stop it, man, them announcers was wood buffing the whole show, I just couldn't do it, I couldn't do it, no, 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 this game is trash, not interested, like, it looked like something that should be on the Switch, something for little kids, no, no. The Sims, well, that was just another Sims game. You know what I mean? It looked good. It's on the way. It's The Sims. If you like The Sims, you're going to get that game. Uh, Tennis World Tour. Um, it was a small trailer. Not much to say about it. You barely seen anything. I don't, you didn't even see any faces or anything. So I can't really say much about that game. Um, you know, the announcers, they were just so hype off. I'm like, oh, please stop. But I don't know. Uh, just, just keep your eyes on it. You know, wait to see more. Megalith VR. Oh, man. They barely showed shit, but I have to say I liked it. You know, I liked it. You know, you get to be a huge monster in VR. Yes, I liked it. Um, if you're a VR guy, keep your eyes out for this one. This looked like it could be something. Like, uh, if VR ever, if, if VR ever becomes what I want it to become, this could be one of those games that helps it. Trust me. Um, Bound, I think that was Bound to Blood or something like that. It was a VR game. I don't know. I just know it had weird airships and like you do all this weird stuff. It just, it was trash. Uh, Ultra Wings VR, trash. Oh my God. Get this game off the stage. Get him out of here, Sonny. He's trash. This game was trash, man. Oh my God. The 90s. Graphics? Like, stop it, bro. That looked like a 90s PC game, but in VR. Like, stop that. Get that out of here, man. Sprint Vector VR. Let me tell you guys something. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe it kind of gave me a little bit of vibes of uh, 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 Sunset Overdrive, but I like Sprint Vector for the VR. I liked it. Uh, the graphics looked a little bit dated, but it looks fun, though. I don't know. Like, if I had VR, I would probably try that, even though I wouldn't get VR because VR is trash, but... If I was a VR guy and I didn't have, I didn't get motion sickness and crazy stuff like that, I would definitely try out Sprint Vector VR. So if for all you VR guys, check that out. Um, 
it, it could be a day one for you. Uh, Star Child VR. I like this game. It was nice. Um, it had sh these little strange abilities she used. I guess, I don't know the... I don't know if she was controlling a robot or something. Like, she touched a robot and you see it. I don't, it was just crazy. I liked it. I liked it. it looked good. But it, I don't, it was most likely a CGI trailer. You know how the game is. You know how they fool you, baby. They catfishing out here. They game fishing. Um, the Final Fantasy 15 VR thing, that was good. I liked it. Uh, the fishing the fishing thing looked good as hell. Um, if you're a PSVR owner and you love Final Fantasy, you're going to check that out. Trust me when I tell you. Um... There was a chick. It was a game that it was like a dragon game. I didn't. I didn't get the. I didn't get the name of the game. The chick transformed into a dragon. Kind of remind me of the Neverending Story. Uh, it looked alright. You know, not something. If I was a VR guy, I definitely wouldn't spend the money on it. I'd wait for it to go down to like five dollars. But you may like it. I don't know. I mean, well, hold up. That's not a VR game. I'm sorry. That's that wasn't a VR game. I'm looking at something else. Uh, looking at something else on my notes. But um, the game's not for me. You know. I don't know. It could be for you. Not for me, though. Spelunky 2. Looks kitty. Not interested. Trash. Get him out of here, sonny. Uh, man. Damn. Ghost of Tsushima. Man, let me tell you something. Sucker Punch be doing that damn thing. I got to give him that credit, bro. Like, this game looks fire. This game looks like... I might have to turn that PS4 on, bro. That thing dusty over there. Oh, man. Hey, hey, you got you got some work coming for you, big fella. That's me talking to my PS4. You got some work coming for you, big fella. Trust me, you got some work coming. Um, that game looks beautiful. It looks like it, it, I can't wait for it. I right? I'm an Xbox guy. I really don't care for one and dones. Them, I, I like a lot of multiplayer stuff, but this game right here, I'm for it. I can't wait. Um, Concrete Gene or concrete genie whatever it is um nice little game the graffiti was fire i liked it um i call it graffiti but the way it was like coming to life and I, that, was, that was dope the bullying in the game was strange but hopefully you get to fight back like i hate games where people do stuff to you and you don't get to fight back so hopefully you get to fight back or your or the crazy things he puts up on the walls they they fight back for him that game was cool erica trash y'all keep that that shit, it looked like something from Sega CD. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know if it was CGI or or some type of video. I don't know. It was trash. Fuck out of here. Uh, Blood and Truth. Let me tell you guys something. For VR, if this is done right, this will be one of the best VR games to drop. I mean, if it's like sturdy and not like twitchy and jumpy, for a, it's it was a first-person shooter in VR. I mean, and the graphics were actually nice. If this is done right, this will put VR on another level for me personally. You know what I'm saying? So keep your eyes out for that game, man. Trust me, I'm 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 high. I was high off of that that showing that little trailer. Uh, Far Cry Five is definitely a day one, and that co-op looks godly. Destiny Two, the Osiris expansion, y'all got y'all can have that. Destiny Two is trash. Destiny is trash. I don't care what anybody says. That whole franchise is trash. So what? Monster Hunter World, man, looks great. Definitely a day one. And I believe, did they have Aloy in that game? Or was I looking at uh, Horizon Zero Dawn? Um, no, I think Aloy is in that game. Yeah, I think she's in that game. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this, but that looked good, man. Trust me. COD World War II. Man, God, it's so trash. It's so dated. But I'm probably going to end up getting it because my boys are going to talk me into it. So you know how that goes. Um... On Rush was a wacky little racer. Looked pretty cool, but not for me. Uh, Battlefront, it was nothing that nothing that would sway me to get it or not get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to get it anyway. I, I'll be trying not to. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really don't want to buy Battlefront, but it is what it is. Spider-Man looked freaking gorgeous. Damn, that game looked good. Definitely a buy on my PS4. Like I said, my PS4 getting at work next year. Detroit Becoming Human, I'm buying that too, baby. It looked insane. That uh, that uh, but that trailer was like a domestic abuse simulator or something, bro. Like, I, like it was kind of weird. It was like different than other things I've seen from Detroit. But I'm happy to see uh, some some extra gameplay from Detroit. So definitely gonna get that game. It looks good. It, well, come on, man. You see it. 
don't anybody even if you're an xbox guy if you're acting like detroit becoming human doesn't look good uh you're a weirdo stop that god of war 4 trailer man it looks good i like the action i'm telling you you guys and all you guys who are hating on god of war because it's not what you come on bro let it go man damn stop all that wood buffing who cares like microsoft does not pay you anything why do you feel the need to hate on God of War? Like, come on, man. My man K Mega had hate for it yesterday. I'm like, come on, bro, stop, man. The game looked good. It looks good. It's like a nice little reboot of the damn game, all right? Let it be. It looked fine to me. I don't know. It looked fine to me. Uh, and I like the action. People are complaining about the man's kid. Like, damn, what type of time you're on, man? What you on, big fella? <laughs> Yo, um... Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, the DLC, it looks good. You know, Horizon's born to me, so I don't really care. Uh, Shadow of Colossus, that game looked good. A lot of you, yeah, a lot of you Shadow of Colossus fans are gonna run out and get that. That's not even, it's not even, it's not even debatable. You guys are gonna get that. I think that game's gonna sell a million copies probably in the first month, first couple weeks, because people love that game. Um, the Last of Us Part Two. Um, even though this was a CGI trailer, I, I can honestly see this keeping all the, all the PlayStation fans pumped right now. Um, I would have liked to see more or some actual, like, gameplay, but it is what it is, you know. It's crazy, they hung, they, it was crazy how they hung the, the, uh, Ronda Rousey looking chick up like that. I was like, damn, that's rough, you know what I mean? This traffic was, I mean, this trailer was, like, super graphic, but it was beautiful, I mean... Ah, man, it wasn't for everybody. I hope you guys weren't watching that with your kids, man. That was that was a little crazy, especially when they banged the chick's arm with the hammer. Like, hey. But um, definitely a day one buy when it comes out in 2020. <laughs> uh, but I must say the game that stole the show for me was... Uh, I got to go. I, damn... Cause I love Monster Hunter, man. Like I love that game. That game looked good, but I gotta go with Ghost of Tsushima. Like that was the new thing, the thing we hadn't seen. You know, the Sucker Punch game. That was the game that we hadn't seen, and it surprised me. I was like, damn, Sony not playing with them exclusives, baby, in 2018. Hey, Philly Willie, y'all better get y'all better get your thing up, man. I don't know, bro. Like that Ghost of Tsushima, man. You know, I'm I'm gonna be skipping on a lot of exclusives for playstation 4 next year but that one won't be one of them i'm telling you that right now if it comes out in 2018 i'm not sure if it's coming out in 2018 or 2019 but we will see trust me when i tell you we will see um overall i thought the show was okay i thought most of the indies was trash uh uh some of the vr games were trash some of the vr games look good though i'm you know i'm not a vr guy vr is trash to me but it some of the games i've seen look like they could push vr to that level but then there were games like ultra wings which was fucking trash that i felt like is the reason why guys don't really want fucking vr like nobody wants to play that trash man we want to play real games in vr we don't want experiences you know what i'm saying like I don't know. That's just me. I don't know what to tell you guys. I can't tell you the way to think. I'm giving you my take. This is the no wood buffing review. Overall, I give this show a B minus. I thought it was a pretty good show. Uh, the beginning was the beginning sucked, but when it went to the stage and all the trailers they showed you, that was good. You know what I mean? Even though a lot of the it wasn't it wasn't any, it wasn't really much new things that you've seen in the show. Like, we've seen all that before. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima was new. Uh, I think Aloy being in uh, Monster Hunter, if this is true, that was new. And I liked it. I didn't see it before. I don't know. It's new to me. You know? It's new to me. I'm an Xbox guy. I mostly pay attention to Xbox stuff. I don't follow PlayStation uh, execs on fucking uh, on Twitter. and do. I don't do none of that. I'm Xbox. I'm all about Xbox and PC right now. PC is definitely in my heart, but... Uh, yeah, it was a good show. I give it a B minus. I feel like uh, the announcers were so annoying. Like the two guy, what is it, the black guy, Ramon, uh, that other guy that looks like he never played a video game in his life. And I'm not saying he doesn't, but I'm just saying he just looks that way. 
And that one chick who who was basically a yes man, she was terrible too. But it is what it is. I expected them to be wood buffers, so it is what it is. But um, let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, make sure you guys hit the comment box, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that little bell on the side so you're notified every time I put out some new content. King's Blood, I'm out.